Hi, today we'll be learning to make this beautiful penguin using gouache. Uh, these are the other ones in the series. You would have seen it in my other tutorials. Um, if not, you can go back to my channel and you can view all of them under Learn to Paint uh, Gouache. So the first thing I'm doing is drawing out this cute penguin. Um, it's just basic shapes, circles and like a U for the body and add a lot of details for um, the hands. Um, the extra lines that I have drawn, I'm going to just erase them off. I'm not too worried because all of those areas is going to be covered in black, which is why uh, I'm a little freehand with my um, drawing right now. So I'm going to mix now um, a nice green for the background. Uh, this I've used over here is a sap cream with white. I'm using Bristol gouache. Um, I'm also mixing some leaf green because uh, I felt like the sap cream was a little too bright um, in the sense that it was um, a little earthy and I wanted it to be a slightly happier color like uh, something in the range of pastels which is why I decided to add the leaf green because it has some amount of yellow in it um, so now after I've added more of white I like how the color looks so I'm going to use this for the background so you can see the consistency over here because I've mixed so many different kinds of colors and little less water there's absolutely no drip at all that's happening so this is a very good consistency of gouache uh, in fact you can go even thicker than this if you want to um, uh, so this is how you play around with it so if you're a beginner I would highly recommend you to try lots of different ways um, uh, of creating your consistencies and figuring out how uh, the color plays um, for your particular painting so another thing with uh, the Bristol paints or any gouache you would notice is not all of the pigments have the same consistency. Some of them are pretty thick, some of them are pretty thin. Um, so you really need to understand your paints really well. Whenever you buy a batch of paints, always watch it. Um, that will give you a good idea of how the colors are. Um, that That's like one of the first things that you should do. Um, also it makes it really easy when you want to paint and you want a specific color. Just Look at the swatch, decide which one you like and then take it. Now here you'll see that when I'm adding the second layer on top, all the brush marks of the first ones or some uh, areas in the first layer which have been either thin or just completely like completely hidden off right now. So I really love this about gouache. Um, this is what gives it a very nice flat finish at the back. So in my other tutorials, I would have also spoken about how uh, you don't really need to wash your color palettes um, where you mix your gouache because all you need to do is add a little bit of water and the entire color will get activated. Like over here, there was quite a amount of black in the palette. Uh, so I've just added a little bit of water and it comes to life. So um, I've kept it for, I think, a maximum of two months um, uh, without anything happening to the paint. So that's how long I have gone. Um, but you don't really need to go that long but the whole point is that you don't really need to waste your paints so i'm painting right now uh, for the body um, and all the details wherever i want to give black if you're not very comfortable using a brush please feel free use a pigment liner to do this one important thing about art i feel is 80 percent is um, the ideation and 20% is execution um, so whenever you're painting something just take a moment uh, probably take a sheet of paper have a sketchbook with you um, you know where you just ideate think about what you want to create and then you make it in the final version that you want to so one of these days I'll probably put up a video of how I ideate and then how I end up creating the final version uh, the more I ideate the more I sketch it with pencil and um, on a piece of paper and then I figure out how it looks the more easier it is when I create the end final product so uh, the more I do that the more I am emphasizing it to everybody that I know um, so now that if you are here especially if you're a beginner please do that uh, if you're somebody who likes the traditional style like me where I use paper and pencil mm, go ahead and do that if you're somebody who likes to ideate digitally please go ahead and create it in your own style the texture that I'm adding right now on the body of the penguin, if you're not comfortable doing this with brush, please go ahead and do it with a marker. You can also use um, color pencils because in this particular area, we haven't added any paint at the base. We're just using the same uh, base of the paper for this. So that's why uh, you can still experiment with mixed media. So what I'm going to do right now is create a background pattern. So I'm going to create the pattern of X. Thank you. 
if you're new to my channel do consider subscribing i put up a lot of art tutorials and i also put up uh, unboxing and reviews of art supplies and you can also follow me on instagram whenever you recreate this in your own style or in the same style that i've created don't forget to tag me um art by nikita you can also put the hashtag learn art with nick i hope you had a fun time watching this tutorial today see you soon for the next one Thank you.